All right. The second question relates to, and I've now replicated your sources and uses table so that the asking price, 2.65 million together with some closing costs, looks like you're going to renovate the project to some degree. Uh, you've got a construction management fee, and then there's some lender costs and finance costs associated with this. Now, the total of what you will have to come up with in capital in order to execute on this investment, meaning buy the property, close on it, renovate it, get financing on it, and be paid or as a partnership pay for the costs associated with that renovation, that total amount is 3076483 right? You have a loan on the property or... You will think of it this way. You will be putting a loan on the property for 1.1 million. Now, it just so happens that the loan that you're putting on the property is a loan that currently is on the property. And so you will be assuming that loan. So think of that 1.1 million as in, you, in your case with your investment, that's just a new loan. The same way if you went out and got a brand new loan. That means the difference between the 1.1 million and the 3,076,000 that you need to execute this investment, that difference, you will have to raise in equity. You'll have to go out and raise that capital. And that number, if I just do the math, let's do it right here, is equal to that minus the debt that you'll put on it, the debt you will assume. That's 1970316. Now you'll notice that number matches this number here. That is as of, you know, with your initial plan, it's 1,970,000. Now, of that 1,970,000, uh, the seller will get the difference between 265 and 1106. Or in other words, the seller, their proceeds will be that minus the loan amount. Right? So the seller's proceeds are that. And if you recall, this is the amount of equity you're raising. The difference between what the seller gets and the amount you're raising, this, uh, what is that number? 426,000. That 426, that you will use to pay your financing costs, to pay your renovation costs, to cover the construction management fee. Now, you're probably then asking, well, what's the difference between this 1.97 that you have to raise, and it's actually 2,025,000, right? That, there's an additional, call it 55,000 that the model has identified that you'll need to raise. And where that comes from, you can click this, click for details, and you'll come down and you'll see that, oh shoot, maybe that uh, link is broken, but it's this amount here. And so what the model has done is it has identified two forms of equity that you'll need to raise. The first is this 1.97 in order to execute your current business plan. However, it's also identified as an additional 55,000 of equity that will need to be contributed, either contributed from the proceeds uh, from the operating cash flow. So it may be you don't have to actually raise that 55,000. It may be that rather than distributing the 55,000, you use operating cash flow to cover that difference. Uh, you'll have to plan for that to kind of look at your 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 plan that that fifty five thousand likely is in the form of uh, acquisition fees that need to be paid. That's actually my guess here. Um, let's check here. If I take this to zero, did I pass it? Let me go back to it. Yeah. Uh, yep, it is. Now it goes away because the difference is not there. So it's actually the difference in acquisition fees. So you will need to raise then, if I come back, 2025. It's whatever you need to execute your business plan at the property level, plus there's some partnership level fees that will need to be raised in order to pay your acquisition fee. So yes, two, 2025 is what you're raising. 1.5 million of the 2025 goes to the seller. You assume this $1.1 million loan, and the remaining difference, and it really is this amount minus this amount, that remaining 481 goes towards your project costs as well as the acquisition fees. So let me know if you have any other questions on that. Otherwise, yeah, thanks for, for your time.